All right, you guys know what time it is? It's time for some timeless stuff, man. This is timeless stuff, comes from afar, and it carries with it great significance. I'm just gonna drop some names here. Euler, man, the greatest mathematician that ever walked in the universe. Euler makes Chuck Norris look like Alfalfa from The Little Rascals. Euler's big. He played around with his function, and um, we're gonna do it. Uh, in this particular case, uh, we will be happy just getting a reduction formula, trying to get it into a more manageable version of it. So here we go. The reduction formula would go like this. It, it, we start writing it down. It goes from 0 to infinity. We can clean this up here. x to the 5, x to the negative 1, that becomes x to the 4th, e to the negative x, dx, and we do the standard by parts here. This looks like a good candidate. We should try x to the 4th dv would be whatever is left over, e to the negative x dx, forcing du to be equal to 4, x to the third dx, and forcing v to be equal to negative e to the x, making our original integral equal to uh, v du negative x to the fourth e to the negative x, negative x, uh, minus v du, so it would be minus minus, that would be plus, uh, 4 times the integral of x to the third, e to the negative x at dx, that's v du. And of course these are all still going from zero to infinity. I could put my big limits here from zero to infinity or I could put them in each piece and handle them as separate little pieces. So I'll go from zero to infinity, from zero to infinity, and I'll try to handle each of them, each of these uh, separately. When I try to plug to handle this one, here's what's going to happen. I go on and I plug infinity, I get negative infinity to the fourth times e to the negative infinity minus zero to the fourth e to the negative zero. This piece is no problem, this gives you e to the zero is one, so it's one times zero. This piece is uh, zero, it's not even indeterminate. That piece I can handle. This piece is a little bit more troubling because negative uh, infinity here, I get infinity e to the, that gives me 1 over e to the infinity, this becomes 0, so it becomes negative or infinity times 0, one of the famous indeterminate forms. So this part, I've got to go back and the plug-in method is not going to work here, I'm going to need my my uh, limit techniques, so I will do that off on the side here, maybe I'll go green on that piece. Um, I need the limit as x, the limit as a goes towards infinity for negative a to the fourth e to the negative a, right? And I can rewrite it like this, the limit as a goes towards infinity, negative a to the fourth, all over e to the a. Try the plug it method, we draw uh, infinity over infinity, which is good because then we can use L'Hopital, we do L'Hopital, negative four a to the third e to the a, Take the limit again, you get infinity over infinity. Do it a few more times, you get negative 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, all over e to the a. You try the plug-in method, and of course you get uh, uh, negative uh, 24 all over infinity, which would give you a big fat zero. So all that work was just to handle this piece that was giving us an indeterminate form. Uh, this goes to zero, and now I can reduce my integral here sometimes we'll just be happy reducing the integral this becomes let me see if I have room do we have room to write it here we're gonna make room so this becomes um, that becomes zero so it just becomes four integral of x to the third e to the negative x dx as x goes from zero to infinity this piece went to zero so now look what this uh, look what happened here um, the original problem, that one, became that one. And it's really, really, really famous if we write it this way. Uh, the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the 5, x to the negative 1, e to the negative x, dx. We said it was equal to the integral of x to the 4th, uh, e to the negative x, dx, from 0 to infinity. And we just computed that in the previous page. That's equal to 4 from 0 to infinity x to the third, e to the negative x dx, and here it is the reduction formula. 
whatever number this is, is four, you bump it outside and you take one down and you get a different form of that version. But but it's famous when you write it when you write it with a five and the with this crazy thing we have an x there and an x minus x to the positive x minus and x to the negative one. So we could write it, put these two together and write it this way x to the 5, x negative 1, e to the negative x, dx. We're just doing this because it's tradition. It's super, super famous, man. Euler, this becomes 4 integral from 0 to infinity, x to the 4th times x to the negative 1, e to the negative x, dx. I know, it's crazy, but it's super, super, super famous. Okay, This piece right here, when you have a 5 and you have x to the negative 1, this piece right here is called the gamma function for 5. If that's the case, then this one is exactly the same format as that, except it's called the gamma function for 4. This is called the gamma function evaluated at 4. And what this statement says, it says that the gamma function at 5 is equal to 4 times the gamma function at uh, 4. How crazy is that? You know why that's crazy is because what do you think the gamma function at 4 is? Writing it in this clear way tells you, well, the gamma function at 4 is probably 3 times the gamma function at 2. But wait, there's more. What is the gamma function at 2? This would be 4 times 3 times the get, uh, times 2 times the gamma function at 1. Holy macaroni. What this thing does, it acts like a factorial. The gamma function of 5, it is actually equal to, you'll have to calculate this, is equal to 1, but this is actually the same thing as... Um, uh, 4 minus 1 factorial. It behaves like a factorial. Amazing with integrals. Stuff is super, super, super powerful. Don't try it unless you have a big soul. It comes from my buddy Euler. The greatest, smartest, most creative individual in the entire universe of all individuals. Right? Timeless stuff, man. Timeless. Euler, the gamma function. Alright, we'll see you guys here next time for another awesome example.